Super Mario RPG was one of the legendary games that came out for the Super Nintendo back in 1996. This was definitely before the N64 came out with Super Mario 64. If you ever compare the Super Nintendo and pin it alongside the Sega Genesis, this is one of the games that will blow that motherfucker out of the water. With this unique gameplay never before seen to Super Mario fans. And it was crazy because this is kind of like based off of Final Fantasy in a sense, since this was partially developed by Square Enix. You gotta love the fact that they introduced new characters as well, such as Gino and Mallow. But it also introduced some pretty interesting concepts at the time, one of which was the action commands. With that, you have to time your attacks and you have to time your blocks at the right time, and when you do that, you're able to reduce the amount of damage that you take from enemies. But it also adds to the charm with its unique storyline. That's what made Super Mario RPG so legendary. So legendary to the point where Nintendo recently released it on the Switch. For those of y'all that are hesitant to drop $65 on a brand new Switch game, hear me out. One of the main reasons being is because the game itself is actually not that difficult. As a matter of fact, they don't even offer a hard setting. The only two difficulty levels you get is either breezy or normal. The normal mode actually isn't that bad. I would say it kind of wavers more towards the easy side. I mean, the game does provide a reasonable challenge, and it's not enough to make you have to go Google the shit. Well, except for when I had to enter the secret code. The game is pretty short as it only took me about 12 hours to complete. 12 hours and I still don't get the 7th fucking star. You gotta love the animations in the game, such as the cute dialogue. Sometimes it is pretty funny, but also every time you level up, all of the characters start dancing. Now if you've ever played the Super Nintendo version, one new mechanic that the Switch version provides is the action gauge. Basically you would build that by timing your attacks and blocks. Depending on who you have on your team, you'll have a triple move. The battles really aren't that difficult to be be honest and I found myself not really using it that often. I mean you don't necessarily have to use it in order to progress to the game and you know getting through some bosses. I mean it does make it easier. That just goes to show just how fun you can have with this game. You'll also get random power-ups during battle too such as your HP maxing out or you get like an attack boost or a defense boost or you just wind up getting lucky. Once you start to get a feel of the game everything kind of seems pretty familiar. Even though the game will feel familiar after a while you'll still have access to new armor new weapons, and even new enemies which keeps the game pretty exciting. Now, if you really wanted to challenge yourself a lot more, you could go out and try to find all the frog coins, which are usually hidden in like weird random places. Unlike many RPGs, you'll never find yourself having to go back to train to progress to the game. And I think that takes out a lot of time, especially for people like myself who don't like to spend a whole lot of time with RPGs, you know, because having to go back and train is just boring as shit. I definitely prefer this version over the Super Nintendo version. I think because it, it's just not only easier, it really feels like it's more polished, you know. And I did forget to mention, by the way, if you go to the settings, you can actually choose between like the game's remastered music and the original music. I honestly just went with the original music all the time because it just gave me more of that nostalgic feel. But I think this was like the next direction that Nintendo took. And I think it didn't really get the recognition that it deserved at the time. And that was because the N64 was about to come out and everybody was hyped for that. But also Super Mario 64 came out around that time too. Super Mario RPG was kind of like underrated, you know, if you think about it. I'm pretty sure the battery in these original cartridges is dead regardless, so if you want to experience Super Mario RPG, the Switch version is the real deal. Yeah.